In the ever-evolving landscape of global geopolitics, Russia's unveiling of seven new weapons has sent shockwaves reverberating throughout the United States and beyond. The announcement underscores Russia's ongoing efforts to modernize its military arsenal and assert its strategic capabilities on the world stage. As tensions between Russia and the U.S. persist, the unveiling of these advanced weapons further heightens concerns about a potential arms race and the escalation of international conflicts. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Among the newly revealed weapons is the Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM. Touted as a game-changer in Russia's nuclear deterrent capabilities, with its ability to carry multiple warheads and evade missile defense systems, the Sarmat poses a significant threat to U.S. national security interests and underscores Russia's commitment to maintaining a credible nuclear deterrent. In addition to the Sarmat ICBM, Russia has unveiled a range of other advanced weapon systems designed to bolster its military capabilities across various domains. These include hypersonic missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and next-generation combat aircraft equipped with advanced avionics and stealth technology. The proliferation of these cutting-edge weapons highlights Russia's determination to stay ahead of its adversaries and assert its dominance in key strategic theaters. One of the most notable weapons unveiled by Russia is the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 20 and maneuvering unpredictably to evade missile defenses. The Avangard represents a significant technological leap forward and has the potential to revolutionize the dynamics of modern warfare by rendering traditional missile defense systems obsolete. Russia's unveiling of new unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and combat drones showcases its growing emphasis on unmanned warfare and the integration of autonomous systems into its military operations. These advanced UAVs boast enhanced surveillance capabilities, long endurance flight capabilities, and precision strike capabilities, allowing Russia to conduct reconnaissance missions and target adversaries with unprecedented accuracy and efficiency. Russia's development of next-generation combat aircraft, such as the Su-57 stealth fighter, signals its commitment to maintaining air superiority in contested environments. Equipped with advanced stealth technology, state-of-the-art avionics, and cutting-edge weapon systems, the Su-57 represents a formidable challenge to U.S. and NATO air forces and underscores Russia's ambitions to assert its dominance in the skies. In addition to these conventional weapon systems, Russia has also unveiled Advanced Electronic Warfare EW, capabilities aimed at disrupting and degrading adversary communications, radar systems, and command and control networks. These EW systems pose a significant threat to U.S. and NATO forces operating in contested environments and underscore Russia's commitment to asymmetrical warfare strategies. The unveiling of these seven new weapons by Russia has sparked concerns among U.S. policymakers and military officials about the growing sophistication of Russia's military capabilities and its implications for global security. As Russia continues to modernize its military arsenal and assert its strategic interests, the U.S. and its allies must adapt to the evolving threat landscape and invest in advanced defense technologies to maintain a credible deterrent and preserve strategic stability. The unveiling of these advanced weapons by Russia has reignited fears of a new arms race and the escalation of international tensions. In response to Russia's military buildup, the U.S. and NATO have ramped up their own defense initiatives and deployed additional forces to Eastern Europe in a show of strength and solidarity. However, the prospect of a renewed Cold War-style standoff between Russia and the West remains a daunting challenge for policymakers seeking to uphold peace and stability in the 21st century. In response to Russia's unveiling of these advanced weapons, the United States faces a complex strategic calculus. The emergence of these cutting-edge military capabilities poses significant challenges to U.S. defense planners and policymakers, requiring a multifaceted approach to address the evolving threat landscape effectively. First and foremost, the U.S. must prioritize investments in research, development, and deployment of advanced defense technologies to maintain a credible deterrent against potential adversaries, including Russia. This includes accelerating the development of next-generation missile defense systems capable of countering hypersonic threats, enhancing the survivability and lethality of U.S. nuclear forces, 
and investing in emerging technologies such as directed energy weapons and space-based sensors. The U.S. must work closely with its allies and partners to strengthen collective defense capabilities and foster greater cooperation in response to Russia's military modernization efforts. This entails enhancing interoperability among NATO members, deepening defense cooperation with key partners in Europe and Asia, and leveraging multinational forums and institutions to coordinate strategic responses to common security challenges. Diplomatic engagement is also essential in managing tensions with Russia and mitigating the risk of inadvertent escalation. The U.S. should pursue dialogue with Moscow on arms control, risk reduction measures, and confidence-building measures to enhance transparency and reduce the likelihood of miscalculation or miscommunication. Additionally, the U.S. should leverage diplomatic channels to address regional flashpoints and conflicts where Russia is involved, such as Ukraine, Syria, and the Arctic, through diplomatic means and multilateral initiatives. The U.S. must strengthen its alliances and partnerships in regions where Russian assertiveness poses a direct challenge to U.S. interests and regional stability. This includes bolstering support for frontline states in Eastern Europe and the Baltic region, enhancing security cooperation with key partners in the Indo-Pacific, and deepening engagement with NATO and other regional security frameworks to deter aggression and promote stability. At the same time, the U.S. must adopt a comprehensive approach to countering Russian malign influence and destabilizing activities in cyberspace, information operations, and hybrid warfare. This requires enhancing resilience against cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns, and illicit financial activities, while also imposing costs on Russia for its aggressive behavior through targeted sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and other punitive measures. The U.S. must remain vigilant in monitoring Russia's military activities and intentions, including its strategic doctrine, force posture, and ongoing military modernization efforts. This necessitates robust intelligence collection and analysis capabilities, as well as regular assessments of Russia's military capabilities and strategic objectives to inform U.S. defense planning and policy decisions. The United States must prioritize efforts to address the underlying factors driving Russia's military modernization and assertive behavior. This includes understanding Russia's security concerns and grievances, engaging in constructive dialogue to address mutual interests and areas of disagreement, and promoting greater transparency and confidence-building measures to reduce the risk of misunderstandings and miscalculations. Additionally, the U.S. should leverage diplomatic channels to engage with Russia on broader geopolitical issues, including regional conflicts, arms control, and non-proliferation efforts. By seeking areas of cooperation and common ground, the U.S. can work with Russia to address shared challenges and promote regional stability and security. The United States must maintain a credible deterrent posture to deter potential Russian aggression while also pursuing arms control agreements and confidence-building measures to reduce the risk of conflict escalation. This requires a balanced approach that combines military strength with diplomatic engagement and strategic dialogue to manage tensions and prevent crises from spiraling out of control. In parallel, the U.S. should invest in strengthening democratic institutions, promoting human rights, and supporting civil society in Russia and other countries to foster greater transparency, accountability, and respect for international norms and standards. By promoting democratic values and principles, the U.S. can help to counter authoritarian tendencies and reduce the risk of conflict and instability. Finally, the United States should continue to uphold its commitments to international law, norms, and institutions, including the United Nations, NATO, and other multilateral frameworks. By working collaboratively with like-minded partners, the U.S. can promote a rules-based international order that upholds peace, security, and prosperity for all nations. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your expectations for the impact of Russia's new weapons on the U.S.? What are your thoughts on Russia's revelation of seven new weapons? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.